It's round two of the RC44 Championship in Cascai, Portugal, and defending champions Team Aqua are looking forward to another close battle. Well, here we are in day one. We've got the match racing today, and you know, it's um, again, it's going to be a battle. It really sort of enforces having a, having a great team, which which we feel we do. <laughs> Aqua is certainly the standard of this fleet, uh, and they have been for a long time. But as you can see here, there's uh, there's a lot of new blood, and a lot of energy and excitement from. Uh, teams that have uh, you know, tried to build themselves up a bit and uh, it's, a, it's a new season, everybody's uh, you know, got an open slate. After initial light wind, this venue showed why it's a magnet for top flight regattas. From the outset, Synergy with former America's Cup winner Ed Baird at the helm with a form team. With heavy Atlantic swell and breeze topping out around 20 knots, the conditions were making things challenging for the teams sailing in such close proximity. This was exciting, thrilling match racing at its best. With seven flights completed, racing was over for the day. Synergy, who remained unbeaten, win the match racing here in Qashqais. Ed Baird, delighted. Well, I'll tell you, the Synergy team really came through today. They just did a great job at every start, every mark rounding. It was, their moves were crisp and clean, and uh, that, you, know, you have to do that in this fleet to be able to have a chance. For defending champions Team Aqua, a different story. A costly condition with a left racing is a night in the repair shop for them. Overall, that side of things was a big negative on the day, but when you look at what we achieved as a crew and how we sailed the boat, I think it was a really, really high-end day from the guys. Fortunately, we've got a really good shore crew and they'll get to work pretty soon. So Synergy now sit at the top of the match racing table. A left leapfrog Team Aqua, who are demoted to third. The competition resumes tomorrow as we look forward to four days of fleet racing.